Hi and welcome to another video. I haven't done a voiceover in a while and um, I do enjoy watching these myself so I thought I'll add another one to the channel and today I'm just painting a robin. I've seen quite a few robins lately um, especially in pairs because it's that time of the year and uh, I recently moved house and in the garden there were these two robins on the fence and they had like sticks and leaves in their mouths obviously ready to go and build their nests so that was really cool and then um actually no joke yesterday when i was painting the robin i actually saw a robin outside um the front of the house whilst i was in the middle of painting so that was also cool so yeah i was getting the robin vibe <laughs> so i uh decided to paint a robin not only that i decided to make it into an entire course i haven't done a course in a while and i haven't done a course in a while my previous course was a little rushed whereas this one I've actually taken the time and really thought about what I was going to do oh yeah that cat <laughs> that just popped up that was Gilly and she was one of the she was our neighbour and uh, yeah we got really close to her she was such a lovely cat so it was sad to see to see her over the last time uh, but yeah um, super cute cat yeah, that was giddy. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm painting this lovely robin. I'm starting with the chest here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, difficult painting on a darker background. It's Because I'm used to painting on a white background. So it's very different for me. But do you know what? I kind of like it because the dark really um, contrasts nicely against the colours of the robin. Um, and also, painting on a darker background is quite helpful because it like adds the shadows there already so I don't need to apply so much dark paint because the shadows have already been created from that background and all I need to do is add the highlights so that's quite interesting about painting on a darker background but yeah more about this course I'm doing it's um yeah the robin's going to be like the tutorial section of the course but it's basically like the six techniques you need for painting in acrylics um, and I just I have like individual photos photos <laughs> individual videos for each of the techniques just explaining what it is and examples of how to utilize it and then if you want to you can do the tutorial of this robin where you apply those six techniques to paint a robin so what I'm thinking of doing is creating two courses one course with just the six basic techniques for acrylic painting and the second course will include that as well as the robin tutorial because I do think painting the robin is a hell of a lot more advanced than the six basic skills um, so I want to separate them and the six basic skills just for complete beginners and then the the second course with the skills and the robin for people that are more intermediate so yeah that's what I've been working on um, and I've actually made a big change in my art business I'm I used to like solely do pet portraits which I still occasionally do now and then but I'm definitely not doing as many um, because I want to paint birds really I like painting wildlife and um, I don't want the, the my business to be pet portraits I don't mind that being the element of my business but it's something that I, I would like to fade away as the years go by and just focus on painting original artwork my focus being uh, birds most likely and sending prints of that and doing courses to help people learn skills and arts and there's a third fourth one even commissions Oh, commissions. I didn't. I don't think I mentioned that one. So commissions, originals, prints, and courses. So they're the the four elements of my business I really want to focus on. Like I said, commissions, pet commissions in particular. I do, I do like doing them. I just don't want them to be the big part of my business. And um, yeah. So and I've actually got a new website up as well. Uh, put loads of work into my website and I'm mainly trying to focus more on the business side of art because before I would just paint and I'd m make a few sales here and there doing pet commissions but I want to focus on the business side of it because I want to make a true living out, out of it I mean yes it, there's been some months where I've been able to make a, a decent income from art um, mainly it was the end of the year around Christmas time with pet portraits However, I want to make it a year-round thing um, and therefore I need to incorporate other things other than pet portraits because pet portraits at this time of the year, for me anyway, um, I've had very few. So 
yeah I, and also I like I love painting birds I don't know what it is I just think birds are the cutest things ever and I just absolutely love nature I'm the biggest animal lover ever um, I've yet to meet someone who's a bigger um, even bigger animal lover than, than I am <laughs> and so yeah I love painting birds and uh, I love seeing them in the garden I love their songs I just think they're bloody amazing so I want the, the focus of my business to be selling originals of birds prints of birds doing commissions of birds and some pets and courses and I do kind of want to learn more about courses and developing good courses um, so yeah this time round I sat down and I planned I wrote a script for each of the sections and I've planned it out really well and I'm taking my time editing the videos but the release of the course will be on the 29th of, of April which is next week so I have a week to, uh, to get everything together and get it all ready and I am going to release it on Skillshare so if you have Skillshare that's fantastic check it out I would really really appreciate it if you did and I'm thinking in the future of also adding it to my website having a section on courses maybe a community area where we can talk and share our artwork and whatnot and I can add all my courses on there and that's something in the in, in my brain it's an idea that's um, starting to grow in my brain at the back so yeah um, and also I just want to say if you are someone that wants to make your art a business um, it is difficult but you just have to keep going um, you're gonna ha hit so many pit have so many pitfalls you're gonna have so many failures but it's whether what makes you different from, so from someone succeeding is the fact that you learn from your mistakes and you keep on going and that's what I'm finding it's a very slow journey but um, one that I'm happy to put in the work and to keep on going but I've changed my model my business in quotation marks uh, model uh, because it is now a business um, where I don't just want to paint pet portraits I want to paint birds and I want to paint birds for people's homes and uh, to add elegance, sophistication, to reconnect people with nature, um, and I'm really liking the gold frames. I'm not gonna lie, lie. I quite. I, if you look at my originals on my website, they've all got these, these beautiful gold frames, and I really do like them. I do also say that I do also quite like plain black frames, and I think they're the kind of frames I'm going to stick with. And my prints is something I really want to get into as well. I've never really. The only real prints I've sold are my. British card and bird prints um, but I do have a range of other prints on there some a little bit out there um, that I do want to sell as well and I've taken some really nice pictures of them in the frames and I've added them to my website I just need to advertise more that's another thing another thing learning how to reach people because you can't just paint something and expect it to just sell you have to advertise you have to market and that's when the business element of it comes in so unfortunately if you want to have art business it's not just painting there that's probably a tiny fraction of the whole piece you have to actually work on the marketing the admin the emails the email campaigns your website so there's a lot more to it and I'm in the midst of doing that and also I've taken a step back in terms of changing what I want my art, art business to be um, which is fine because in the long run I'll be a lot happier with it and myself so yeah that's it really just uh, keep going keep painting and check out my course leave reviews it really helps me to improve on them uh, but this is the final result of the robin and um, this will be in one of the courses that I'm releasing next week on Friday <laughs> on Skillshare um, but yeah, I really enjoyed painting this robin. Do you know what? This is the first robin I've done in acrylic. Most of them have been in watercolour, so I'm chuffed with the result. Anyway, guys, thank you for being sticking around, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.